Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with an EDC video. This is an update video from one that I recently did on my direct action dragon egg. Now, I've been carrying this bag for a few months, actually pretty close to about six months I'd say now. And so, I don't know, I'm kind of like a chick with a purse. I get a little bit itchy and scratchy and want to try something new and different. Maybe something new that's in style or, you know, at least I know that's what my wife's like. She can't use the same purse for more than four to six months and so she's always changing bags. And here I am doing the same thing, so I guess my EDC is like my man purse. Well, so I was looking around and just happened to stumble into this Maxpedition bag. Now, this is the Maxpedition tactical attache this, this is the operator model there's different sizes and i saw this for sale it was actually on ebay i got a great deal on it bought it used but it was in good condition so i said what the heck i'll give it a shot and in my experiments with edcs i've definitely liked a shoulder bag you know i have to be pretty honest with myself i take this bag i throw it over my shoulder at the beginning of the day i carry it into my truck then i get to work and I take it out of my truck and I put it in my office. That's pretty much all I do with it. I mean, you know, I'm not really using this thing as a backpack. How fair is it to the bag? I actually kind of feel bad for the thing. It spends its whole life sitting around. You know, if I took all the gear out of this and I told you it was brand new, you'd probably believe me. And you'd probably pay full brand new price for it. So, you know, it's definitely in great shape, completely maintained and well cared for. It's just completely ridiculous that I'm not using this thing to its cap uh, capability. So anyway, it's time to put this dragon egg into full service out in the field and time for this aggressor to take over as my new EDC carry. It looks to me to be about 17 inches and if you go basically from pocket to pocket, you're looking at closer to 20. And in height, I mean, I'd say that's at a, a minimum of 12 and a half, if not maybe 13 inches. So. I feel like this bag is actually a little bit bigger than what Maxpedition's saying, but that to me is not necessarily a bad thing. I think that's pretty much a bonus. So at this point, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do. I just pretty much have to start packing this thing out and figuring out how all my EDC gear fits in this bag. And, uh, you know, let's get at it, see what I can come up with. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I really didn't want to shoot today. You know, I really planned on hanging out and chilling out. I've done a bunch of shooting lately and been pretty active, and I figured I'd just take it easy. But this bag came in the mail about three hours ago, and the minute I saw it, I was like, damn, I got to put this thing in service. So I knew I kind of had to do this video right now because I really, I'm excited about this. This has some excellent features, tons of flexibility, and it looks to be about the perfect EDC bag for how I use an EDC system. And I'll start to explain why. Let me show you some of the features. So the first thing you're going to see is a nice array of exposed external pockets. I think for me that's a pretty important thing because, you know, I have some regularly used items that I want to get to quickly. And so I'm going to try to outfit these with some of those most regularly used items. The other thing that caught my attention right away, it has two very nice size water bottle pockets. Now, this almost gives me a flashback moment. All the time, I whack the bottom of the bag or something, and just by doing that, the canteen slides up and pops out, and it falls on the ground, and I get a new dent. So that is a flaw, kind of bugs me. So even despite all my best attempts to keep my water bottle strong and secure inside this pocket, I failed time and time again. But now, voila, the perfect pocket for my poor canteen. Let's take a quick look at this thing. This poor canteen has had its butt kicked. This thing has hit the ground so many times, I can't even count. And so at this point, I think it's going to be pretty happy to have a nice comfortable home inside this tactical attache. Now again, not only is there one pocket, 
but there's two. So that's pretty cool. I mean, this gives me a little bit of flexibility. I can just use this for a dump pouch if I wanna just throw items in there, or if I wanna have my coffee in one side and water in the other, that would work out pretty well. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with the fact that this has two nice size pockets for water bottles. And uh, it also has, you know, this uh, sleeve that you can use to tighten it up. There's actually a, uh, the ability to tighten up the shock cord on the inside of the bag to get it nice and snug so it fits right around your water bottle or canteen. So nice little feature and at least two of them. So that works out pretty good for me. So I'm kind of trying to think about this outside pocket. I mean, it has a nice little clear backing on it. And now that I dig a little deeper, it's actually, this is interesting. Ah, oh, look at that. It even has a flap. So that's a pouch I wasn't even expecting to find. Really cool. Um, just a big open pouch. Basically just goes right down the front of the bag. That's a great feature. I was originally thinking this was all it did, but look at that. Every turn of the corner on this bag, I find another little feature. So I'm gonna start getting creative here. Let's see what I can fit in these couple of spaces. First is, I tried to fit my wallet in here. Um, you know, I want you to keep in mind, and I know you're gonna, there's gonna be some naysayers out here that say I shouldn't be displaying this type of stuff in the front of my bag, but just to let you know that I don't have any real security reasons to, uh, you know, not be doing what I'm doing. I mean, I, everything I do is pretty secure, and you know, I can conceal this thing when I need to. So anyway, I just want quick access to some money, say I need to pay some tolls or run into a store real quick. I feel like that's a not a bad place just to stash a few bucks. Uh, my wallet didn't quite fit. If it was a little bit on the smaller side, uh, it probably would have fit. I use one of these thin Maxpedition wallets and it wasn't quite right. It was just a little bit on the tall side to fit there. So that didn't quite work for me. But on the inside here, and actually I'm going to point this out right now. This bag, I feel like, is actually set up pretty well for security reasons. So let's take a look at this zipper track. Let's get some light on it for you. You can see on this side, there's no exposed zipper. When the zipper's in the closed position, it comes to the inside of the bag to a spot that's kind of difficult to dig at. So from a security standpoint, if I was wearing this in a public place, it would actually be a little bit difficult for somebody to get a hold of this and pull it around. It's single, not a double zipper. So it does actually only go to that one side in that one direction. So that's actually kind of cool feature. On the inside of this sleeve here, you'll notice that there is actually a little subdivided pocket on the inside. So what I did was basically I have my, uh, you know, auxiliary wallet, I'll call it, with some of the cards that I don't regularly use and my checkbook and stuff, they fit in there pretty nice. And then I always have a field book in one of these Maxpedition field book covers and so that fits in there absolutely perfect. So nice little spot for that stuff and I'm just going to stash it away and keep on moving.